What's up, friends? Humble Half Breed coming at you with a quick vibe check. Yo, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I am protected. I am thankful for God. Protected. Friends, there have been so many times in my life where I should have friggin' died, yo. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't, thankfully, but friggin' didn't, yo. Uh, I've put myself in a lot of friggin' uh, risky situations, friends. Put myself in a lot of risky situations and friggin', um, you know, so many, so many bad things could have happened. Like one time I put my car into a tree. Uh, one time I almost, almost got friggin' uh, raped and murdered or so I friggin' thought. Um, you know, I've been stranded and left in the middle of nowhere and friggin', uh, you know, with it in, in some pretty rough places, friends, in some pretty rough places. But there was always some type of, um, intervening force, friends, always some type of intervening force or friggin', um, you know what I mean? Like some type of friggin', uh, angelic protection or whatever, friends, that was there to friggin', uh, swoop in and save me, yo, swoop in and friggin' save me. And my kids too, friends, and my kids too, yo, hold up. So I've talked on this channel about things that can't be named before a bunch of times about how, uh, you know, my kids and I have SNPs and the glutathione genes and, um, you know, genes that help with detox and, um, you know, things that uh, predispose us to like high catecholamines or whatever. But at some point in my parenting journey, I came to, um, you know, have suspicions and, um, you know, or whatever about things that can't be named, you know, the shots or whatever. And at one point, I really wanted to, you know, I wanted to see for myself, friends. I wanted to, um, you know, actually give one of my kids the friggin' the flu thing and not give my other kids them and friggin', um, you know, see what happened. And I remember taking my son in for an appointment and I had my, my daughter, Belle, who was a baby at the time. <clears throat> I brought her in and I said, you know, uh, I said I wanted to give him a flu, a flu thing and I didn't, uh, the, when the woman asked me if I wanted to give it to my daughter, Belle, I kind of like, um, you know what I mean? I kind of like clenched her a little tight or whatever and was like, you know, just had this feeling of like, no, you know what I mean? Because she already wasn't really taken too well to the schedule. So <clears throat> I ended up being really glad anyway, friends, because, um, you know, this was before I did the genetics testing. And while we all have like, um, you know, uh, polymorphisms in the genes that, you know, predispose us to not be able to really clear heavy metals and toxins and whatever. My daughter, Belle, is the only one who has, um, a snippet in this, um, gene, this gene that, um, really, it, it predisposes you to hypersensitivity to mercury. So I ended up being glad that I friggin', um, that I listened to boss on that one, friends, and I didn't end up friggin', uh, giving it to her because, I mean, God knows what would have happened. You know what I mean? God knows what would have happened. And my son ended up getting really sick anyway. I think I've talked about this before. My son ended up getting really sick and acting kind of crazy. And so did my oldest daughter because, you know, she ended up having that same freaking, um, that same flu thing with, you know, my marriage mall. And, um, they both started acting crazy and, you know, got crazy gut infections or whatever. And freaking, um, I didn't understand it, friends. I didn't understand till I got their records, you know, like months later or whatever that, you know, they ended up, they both ended up having it. And so that was when like a light went off in my head or whatever, friends. Hold up. Could have been worse anyway, friends. Could have been a lot worse, yo. Uh, like I'm sitting here and friggin', um, you know, my twin flames in my head are like, oh, you're so protected, then friggin' uh, why are you sitting here? Why are you sitting here saying that you're so blessed and favored when, you know, you're you're talking about how friggin' uh, things that can't be named, you know, hurt your kids or whatever, friends. But, you know, uh, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse and friggin', um, you know what I mean? Like, God tests his chosen ones, friends. God tests his chosen ones, you know, they experience, uh, tests and challenges and friggin delays or whatever but friggin um it takes a lot to talk about that stuff friends it takes like everyone's put here for a purpose friends no matter how big or how small everyone is put here for a friggin purpose and um you know like just uh just to validate one person friends just uh, at least in my experience having just one person to validate that and there were a few friends there were a few uh like my grandmother, my grandmother said she believed me. Another parent, you know, <clears throat> told me that that happened to them. Obviously, there are many heroes, uh, 
you know, on the internet or, you know, in real life. Uh, many, many, many more used to be available on friggin' YouTube. But uh, just to validate that to someone, friends, is like a really huge deal. You have no idea what it's like to friggin' um, suffer in silence with that kind of thing. But anyway, so... um. Anyway, could have been a lot worse, friends. If I would have given my uh, youngest daughter, Belle, that the the thingy with Shmai Marismal, she probably friggin' she probably would be like uh, seriously mentally friggin' um, handicapped or disabled or whatever, friends. And she's actually a uh, she's a really smart, sweet girl. But anyway, thankful for God, friends. Thankful for God. Uh, there have been so many times, friends, so many times in my life where, you know, I could have died, seriously. Like, I put my tree, my car into a tree before, and it was just so, so, so wrecked, friends. And um, the people who saw me walk away from that were like, I can't believe you just walked away from that without a scratch on you. Like, I kind of bumped my head a little bit, but that car was friggin' totaled, and I should have been friggin' dead, friends. There was... Um, <clears throat> There was this one time, wasn't really the highlight of my life, friends, where uh, I met someone and I was like walking, walking into the woods, friends. I was walking into the woods to go friggin', um, I don't know, I think we were, we were going to look for mushrooms or something like that, friends. Or he told me that we were going to go look for some mushrooms. Uh, and like, I think he was going to kill me, friends. He was probably going to rape me and kill me or whatever because we got so far out into the woods and then friggin', um, this is when I was like, Pfft. I don't know, way before I had kids, friends, years before I had kids, probably, uh, you know, 20 years old or something. But yeah, we walked pretty far out into the woods and then just out of nowhere, he's like, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do this. And he turned around and fucking uh, left me or we, we walked away or whatever, but I think he was going to probably rape and kill me. And, um, you know, there was a lot of risky situations that I put myself in when I was younger and, um, <clears throat> You know, there have always been, you know, like there's always some type of friggin' um, angel or something that friggin' um, intervenes, some type of uh, good force or whatever that intervenes or whatever on my behalf. Hold on. <clears throat> you know, I've talked to you guys before about like uh, the type of challenges that I've uh, experienced with my twin flames and the type of intentions that they send, send to me and, you know. Um, they're pretty much always trying to convince me that, you know, there is no God, that God isn't real, that God is your subconscious, that it's basically only the law of attraction, which I've talked about many times, uh, on this channel. But in my eyes, friends, there's, um, there's something greater than just, um, thoughts and feelings and energy and electricity. There's like a, there's like a force for good and like a force, there's like a force for good and, uh, you know, which is the prevailing force, friends, which is, you know, there's like a moral fabric to the universe. There we go, friends. It's not, it's not just like a big stupid universe who just responds to our freaking, um, you know, our thoughts and feelings. There's some, there's something greater that, you know what I mean, intervenes or whatever, like, um, so many times I've been through like real dark, tough times and, you know, a lot of times I'm sure anybody can relate, you know, you're going through some really, really dark, tough shit and then just, you know, you feel like it's never going to get better and then just out of nowhere, you know, God drops a big blessing on you or something, you know, just lifts that weight off you or whatever. Like I said before, friends, patience of Job rewarded like Job, you know, the bigger the suck, uh, the longer the weight, the friggin', uh, you know, the bigger the relief on the other side, friends, you just got to friggin uh keep that faith and friggin uh continue to smile through the suck friends continue to smile through the suck like there is definitely angels are real there's a friggin um you know there there is there's definitely a force for good out there friends there's a, unfortunately like we've talked about before you know the you know when you're thinking about fucking um you know what I mean? Vibing with the angels and the gods and shit. There's not a, you know, there's not a whole lot of stuff at the top and the shit at the bottom that's dense and heavy. That pulls and sucks people in, you know what I mean? So there's like a lot of, uh, you know, like destructive pendulum energy out there, friends. But, you know, friggin', there's a, 
the the shit that's really uh high vibe or whatever that's some high value shit friends and it's fucking uh it's not nothing and it's out there and you gotta just friggin um if you're going through some tough shit friends if you're going through some tough shit you just really have to believe that it's gonna fucking get better and you just really gotta friggin um keep the faith in god and uh you know good things will happen friends good things will motherfucking happen i guess basically that's it basically that's it um uh I hope you guys have a good evening, and I'll friggin' uh, I'll talk to you soon. Friggin' love you guys. Humble half breed. Pacing on out of here.